You know, one of the things that really makes storylines so incredibly powerful is the ability to consolidate multiple slides into a single slide using slide layers. And in this movie, I'll show you how you can create those content layers for each of the tab buttons. All right, so here is our layout, right? Here's what we've already been working on. Now, if for any reason you're not seeing this whole side panel area over here, maybe your slide looks something like this. Well, it just means that your panel, your layers and your triggers panel has been minimized. So to get those back, just quickly move your cursor over. And when you see the cursor change, click and drag to the left. You have to click and drag. You may not see any movement in this area right here, but somewhere around, uh, yeah, about 200, 300 pixels out, you'll get that uh, shadow of a bar and you can release it. So if you're not seeing the triggers panel, the slide layers, that's how you can get those back. Now, real quick, before we create our slide layer, let's just rename the slide itself to remove this untitled slide name. I'm just going to call this tabs. Anything you want is fine, but I uh, just like to have something other than untitled. Now, you'll also notice that when you renamed it, check it out over here. See how it renamed the slide name as well? We could also change it this way too. So just a couple ways to do it. No, we actually could change it up there too. So back over here in the slide layers, the bottom region right here, we have this button called new layer. This will create the new slide layer above this bottom base layer. So click it once and that creates a new layer. Now, a couple things. First, what can you do with a slide layer? Well, if I bring open my timeline, you can see that you have uh, the option of putting objects and shapes and anything you want over here, just like we did on the bottom base layer. We also have a timeline so we can synchronize objects and animations and audio. Now you also can notice, I'm just gonna delete this, that the tabs over here are dimmed, right? It, it really just, they're kind of lightly grayed out or faded. Well, what you also notice is that we can't select anything here on the bottom base layer that we've already been working on. We can see them, but we just can't select them. And that's from this option down here in the very bottom called dim non-selected layers. If I uncheck this, then this, like, this item, this, uh, this slide, everything looks the same as it did on that base layer. So if I click down here on the bottom, there's really no visible change between the slide layer and the actual base layer. I don't really like to work like that. I like to know that I'm on a slide layer, so I tend to keep this dimmed at all times. I like to see enough of the objects on the base layer that I know they're there, but they're still removed a little bit, uh, de-emphasized by that dimming. This is really helpful when you're working on larger projects and a lot of slide layers and you're toggling back and forth real quick and sometimes uh, you just don't know which one you're on and then you put content on a slide layer that you wanted on the bottom layer. So tend to work with this dimmed in almost every case. So real quick, before we add the placeholder content, once again, let's just give our slide layer a name like we have been. And I'm actually going to use the same name that I used for my button tabs. That way I can visibly see these, I can help uh, visually align these two between whatever objects or buttons I'm working with on the base layer, but then also see that these are the same that I'm working with over here in the slide layers. Now the last step is just to add some placeholder content to the slide layer. Now for paragraph text, there's probably nothing tastier than bacon ipsum, and I only need really two. So I just use two and start with the bacon ipsum, give me some bacon. Any text generator that you're using is fine going to grab all of this, but I probably won't use it all. So control C and I'll get rid of this. And then on my slide layer, I'm just going to insert a text box for a title and I'll call this label one. And then I'm going to insert another text box. I'll do that control T and control V to paste it. And I should have dragged that out a little bit. So now it's really small. control mouse wheel, and I'll bring this over. So that's probably more text than I need. Certainly don't need that much on there, so I'll just select all this and get rid of it. Let's make that a little bit bolder. And align these to the left. Okay, uh, maybe give myself a little, a little bit more room right here. And let's go ahead and just drop in an image real quick. Okay, so just paste one in from a, a different file. 
Okay, this is all set up for slide layer one. In the next movie, we'll go ahead and continue creating our slide layers.